Hello, my lichens. Welcome to Ant's Morning, a newsletter that's also a podcast. I'm sorry I couldn't record an episode for April, but, you know, life got in the way and I'm here now. So, welcome to the May episode. This one is titled Green Slag Love. And I swear I have a good reason for doing that. <laughs> One, the most carefully crafted banners. Let me read you a quote from an article on The Guardian. Yelena Osipova, an elderly activist who is said to have survived the infamous wartime siege of Leningrad, was marched away by a group of police in St. Petersburg while she protested against the war in Ukraine. Thousands of people have been defying police threats and staging protests across Russia. <laughs> well, saying she was marched away by the police... Um, <clears throat> Let me say it's a, an understatement, okay? If you go to the written version of this newsletter, you can watch a video that shows a bit of this moment and you can see Jelena Osipova herself holding her banners. And there's a lot of things to be said here about her willpower and her crave for change. But I'd also like to make a note on her well-crafted banners with their clear handwritten typography and drawings and don't miss the detail of how she tied the banners to her hands or her arms, I'm not sure. But the thing is that when the police take her, take her away, the banners and her words go with her. I just love that. I mean, it's terrible that she got arrested for protesting against the war, but, you know, she, she's a badass. Two. Am I a veteran scapriller already? Do you remember scapril? If you don't, it's okay. I talk about many things. <laughs> Scapril is a literary challenge created by Savannah Brown, who's uh, easily one of my favorite authors living today. And the challenge consists in writing a poem a day dur during the month of April, inspired by her prompts. Each year the prompts are different, of course. I've been participating since 2020, and since 2022 is my third time, we can safely say I am an Scapril veteran? Yes? Yes, right? The previous years I dedicated my whole month of April exclusively to write a poem a day, then translating it, then putting it over one of my old drawings slash paintings slash photographs, then editing the whole thing on InDesign and this year I decided against putting the rest of my life on hold so this year I did Scapril, as my brother says, the Tranquis. Let's translate that as in a chill manner. <laughs> so I wrote a poem a day for its prompt and only in English or in Spanish, depending on my mood that day, basically. And I didn't translate any of them, well, except maybe a few just for sharing with you and with Patreon. <laughs> and I pasted them all over the same template, featuring my drawing of a bee, that I did for my Patreon main page and I didn't try to be up to date. In fact, I finished the challenge on May the 12th. So I think I managed taking a more the Tranquis approach. 
This is one of the poems I wrote for Escape Reel 2022 for day 18. The prompt was Act of Creation. Now be aware of the content because we're talking sex, specifically slags sex. Okay. Who knew slags could be so romantic? After David Atemoro. I reiterate. These are the creatures I want my dead body to be covered by someday. These are the bodies that pour their desire down the forest bed, so every potential lover can taste the longing. The leader goes upwards over a tree trunk. The pursuer follows to the branch that will anchor their crave to spiral on each other. After an hour of downward braiding, they both present their see-through maleness, which also entwine, spread, flowering down. Both critters live with a sigh, inseminated, the queerest life forms to lick the planet, the ones I hope will conquer my body. 3. Slag love. A few months ago, Fiona Apple talked in a video on her Instagram. Well, she doesn't manage the Instagram, but the videos are hers, which is cool. Uh, well, in that video, she shares her thoughts around a David Attenborough documentary about slags reproduction, and I was so fascinated by it all. <laughs> Basically, there's um, a piece of uh, an ephemeral documentary, and you can look it up on YouTube if you type Who Knew Slacks Could Be So Romantic, which is the title I borrowed for my poem. And in that video, you can watch two slacks finding each other thanks to the leading one's pheromone rich mucus attracting the other. They go up a tree branch, hang heads down while entwining their bodies, their bodies for an hour, pull out their translucent penises to entangle them too, forming a flower-like structure. And that's when they inseminate each other. If this doesn't impress you, I don't know, go, go get it checked. <laughs> This is amazing. Gastropods, in general, are one of those species that challenge the anthropocentric logic of binaries. They're neither male nor female. All of them can attract or follow another individual to mate. They can all pull out their beautiful penises. They all inseminate each other during fecundation. I mean, if that's not queer, I don't know what is. Queer theory and queer ecology, by extension, have a lot of questioning, for questioning of traditionally binary concepts such as man-woman, male-female, nature-culture, subject-object, etc. So, when I say slags are very queer, I know what I'm saying, okay? <laughs> And I couldn't resist taking a screenshot of a moment of the video and make a drawing. So you can go check it out on the written version of this podcast. The newsletter, I mean, obviously. <laughs> I'm a bit sleepy, okay. <clears throat> so I did a drawing based on that documentary and it's a... Uh, markers on paper drawing and to be honest I'm not super happy with my um, use of color on this piece but it's okay and you have to picture me now saying this to myself looking at the mirror it's okay the drawing is good 
And I share it because it's important to try things and show them as part of the creative process. Okay, Miriam, okay. Four, monologue on green. A few months ago, I watched a movie titled The Green Knight. It's a 2022 movie directed by David Lowry with Andrew, Do Andrew Dross Palermo as director of photography. And I don't know where to begin to explain how much I loved that movie. I did a drawing that you can also check out on the newsletter, of course. Though I also shared it a couple of months ago on my social media, so it might look familiar. And it's based on a frame on, of the movie in which um, you can see Gawain, the main character. And I'm so not sure if that's the way to pronounce his name. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, <laughs> so Gawain is um, kneeling down on a building that is totally engulfed by ivy and other wild um, greenery. It's very stunning. And on the background, you can see a um, humanoid figure, let's say, <laughs> kind of green under a pointed arc and the background behind the humanoid figure it's bright yellow and that's just one of the very gorgeous frames with very amazing colors of this movie and yeah i i super recommend it it's it's amazing the the script, the acting and all, but but yeah, the beauty of the frames, it's almost enough of an excuse to watch it, so a go. And you can always watch it and maybe subscribe to my Patreon. <laughs> Hello, here comes the spam. Uh, usually for my bromeliad tier on Patreon, I do close readings of poems, but I couldn't resist analyzing a um, small monologue from this movie. It's so incredibly juicy. Let me read you a small fragment and don't worry, I won't spoil the whole thing. Okay. When you go, your footprints will fill with grass. Moss all cover your tombstone. And as the sun rises, green shawls spread over all, in all its shades and hues. This for degree will overtake your swords and your coins and your battlements and try as you might. All you hold dear will succumb to it, your skin, your bones, your beard. Oh, I absolutely love that monologue. <laughs> Ooh, if you're inclined to do so, and if you can afford it, of course, go to patreon.com slash Miriam Navarro Prieto. And you just need to select a tier and depending on which one you select, you will have act access to my previous posts and the future posts that um, corresponding with that tier. The first day of each month, Patreon will charge you, depending on the tier you chose, with 150 three or five fifty US dollars or one two or four euros and of course when you no longer want to be my patreon I won't be angry in any way <laughs> of course uh, you just need to cancel your subscription and patreon will stop charging you 
and yep, yeah, it's that easy. And that is all. As always, I'd like to thank my Ants Morning subscribers and especially my Patreons, Jorge, Rufi, Lucia, Larry, and the most beautifully heard colored hobbit, Chelsea. You know, I also like saying my unofficial Patreons are Nacho and Raul. So thank you all. Thank all of you. You're the bestest. And I don't know how to express my gratitude in a more eloquent manner, but um, thank you. So if you haven't subscribed yet to this newsletter, you can do so on tinyletter.com slash Miriam Navarro Prieto. You just need to type your email address in there. Wait for the email Tiny Letter will send you. It may end up in the spam folder, so be aware of that. And be super, super sure to click on the confirmation link inside that email because that's the only way to actually subscribe. Uh, you can also read my previously sent issues in my archive. And what else? Oh, oh, if you like listening to the podcast version on Spotify, you can activate the... Oh, I don't know how to say it. <laughs> I think you, you can click on the small bell next to my Spotify profile on and morning podcast so when i update with a new episode your phone will say something like bleep and <laughs> you will get a message telling you there's a new and morning episode so yes that was super convoluted i'm sorry uh, okay um <laughs> see you next month goodbye